What's up, y'all? Appreciate you tuning in. We're going to do uh, a quick bat review with uh, this wonderful, wonderful guy over here who likes to cause drama. He <laughs> gives drama a home. Yeah, yeah exactly. Drama gives drama a home. You know, like when the police, when they, when they catch criminals on them bait cars? <laughs> they have the car sitting at the car and they got the keys in what, it. like beef and speed or I'm something? Just, I just, no, like entrapment. Yeah, yeah, I leave the car there with the keys in it. Whoever jumps in and drives off on my post, that's up to them. I ain't got nothing to do with it. No. All right, y'all. Tonight, we're going to do uh, a little Eastern review. Um, we're going to do the Eastern Boom. I, I think you've seen this on my page on uh, Instagram. Pete's a big fan, fan of the Boom. <laughs> I, I don't even like the way you said that. I'm just dude. saying, like I haven't, I've never even heard of this bat. Yeah, so. I haven't heard of it either. I got I mean, so I got it as got a, it. a replacement for my 220 that broke. So then we got the uh, 240 Fireflex still in the wrapper, loaded. One piece. Yeah, one piece, 12 inch barrel, 27 ounce. This one's a new school Fireflex, which is the plural resin barrel. So this one got a different feel to it. I like the response of it. We hit some ASA balls with it. So. Ultra elongated fibers yeah. on the two on the Fireflex 240. And then whatever that means. My man, I let him do the introductions. This bat's uh, you know, one of probably the most talked about bat in 2024, towards the end of the middle of the end of the season. I've only swung a 27 ounce, like maybe three times. I'm really uh we're gonna kinda have like a little Easton showdown here. This bat literally I just took the wrapper off. You yeah. have to take my word for it on that. Um 100% no swings, no marks, no nothing, no taps, yeah. no nothing. Straight out the box. Yeah, That's, there you go. <laughs> straight out the box. Yeah. Um, I did. I will say this. Like, I'm a, I'm a whore for these. Uh, pyramid grips. The pyramid grips. And so when I put this pyramid grip on this bat, it was the first time I've ever seen one where it could literally just slide up and down without, like, like I had to add That's bat thin tape. handle. Yeah, I had to add bat tape to get this to stick. So. True. All right. So also, too. These are the balls we're going to be using. Sorry to mistreat your Easton. Yeah, I was going to say, he ain't throwing, he ain't throwing my bat like that. Trying, trying to break them, in, break them in the hard way. You know what I'm saying? I saw the eye contact he gave me just now. He was like, hey, man. He's tossing shit, boy. Okay. All right, tonight we're going to be swinging uh, with these balls right here, the bottom fires. Let's see if you can see it. Uh, they gave us a whole bunch of uh, new balls, so we're going to use those tonight to hit with. Uh, this is also the Classic M as well, too. So we're doing the Pro M's and the Classic M balls. If they were live... Uh, when I was here last time, I ain't got as much hair as Brady does, but I was—I hit with y'all. When was that about month month ago? Oh, listen, man. Oh yeah. Listen, man. <laughs> Look, I'm a I'm a D Marini guy this year. I'm, I'm swinging the vanilla gorillas and all that, but I picked this thing up for 200 bucks on CheapBass.com. I don't know how many they have left, but this Anarchy Texas smoke, good God Almighty, man, it's hot. So everyone we had that tried this bat. Try to steal it. Try, yeah, try to steal it. <laughs> <laughs> try to buy it. <laughs> try to negotiate. Try That's to trade. Good bat, man. I went on there, and I'm not affiliated with no yeah, websites. With no, none of that. Yeah. I told you what happened. Two hundred bucks with a return. That bat took ten swings, and it opened right up. You know, at that at that thing for the kids. The oh, the toys for thoughts. Toys for thoughts. Yeah. Tournament. Yeah. So Chris King is out there with two of those. Mid tournament, he sells one to Mike Smith. Mid tournament. Oh yeah, like, but, I gotta have this bat now. <laughs> it's gas. So look, yeah, we had is. we had a few people try it, and everyone that tried it loved it, and went and bought their own stuff. So this bat, if you can find it, this is a sleeper bat. Hundred percent. Oh, how much you say it tested? Uh, it tested. <laughs> <laughs> it tested. the wrapper. I tested it Sunday out the wrapper. It tested at two fifty. Now, I will say durability is not an issue. Let me tell you what this bat is. It's a 220 bat with a 240 stand. That's that's basically what I'm gonna put it at. 220 with a 240 stand. So this boom one, doesn't have a little knob on it, so I'm not gonna I, like actually, that. I actually, I'm gonna speak to that. So this one, this boom has a soft knob, and it's the only bat that I don't have one of my tapers on because you you don't need it. First swing. Ooh, Top of the fence. Six. Goner. Woo. Seems to be adjusting okay. Hey, that's a fifth swing? Yeah. How's it feel? Uh, you can't feel the ball coming off of it. <laughs> that's it? No, I mean, like, it's, it's a real soft, soft barrel. You don't know, like, I can tell when I hit it, but I can't tell how good I hit it. All right, so this is brand new. Yeah, no swings on that one. The boom probably has 100, maybe 120 on it. Ooh, that feels good. 
Second swing. Just reached out and just touched that one, huh? Oh, like that was that was just I think like that's a, getting an unfair advantage because now I'm getting used to the machine now. And you know we're also going to compare. Uh, was that seven? Yeah. We're going to do a dollar for dollar comparison. How much was, was boom weight? About the same, seven and a half, I think. I'd be even I'm happy. Golly, I'm gonna sleep good tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that felt good. Do you think the barrels like between the two? You think? Uh, for softness. You know what this actually? Let me get one more swing. Uh, this yeah, feels like a. Uh, I'll tell you in a second. Hold on. All right, so Easton had a 220 series, the B ones, the L ones, the B ones. Oh, you think? What, I took it way it back. Yeah. I took it way back, but the barrel feels like it did when I was swinging the B ones. Oh, that felt really good. That's stuck at the top of the net. What the that heck? That felt really good. Oh, I hooked up. Now, this got 100 more swings in these two now. What's that, 500 Last one, game on the line. Keep going. Oh, off the gate. Yeah. When you have a body like that, you can hit it over a 40. Ooh, almost. I was about to hype him up. Someone asked, how do you achieve a build like that? <laughs> Years of work. That's uh, That man's been practicing for Thanksgiving all his life. Oh, yeah. Soccer field. Oh. Mm, very tippity top. Uh, there's a net. We're pulling everything because we're trying to break in bats and try to get a feel for it. Um, I think it's a about a 45, 50 foot net. Yeah, I measured it. What is it? 45. 45 feet exactly. Hess is touching them right now. No doubt about it. He ain't got a ball stuck up there in the net though, like Big Daddy back here, but he's touching them. But and I hate one piece bats. I, I can't stress that enough. One piece bats are there's, not friendly to no, me. Huh? There's no like. One piece feedback. I know it feels like a two piece, right? I was I was cranking them out of here with that one too. As is Hess. Hess calls this bat a poor man's tantrum. Hess, what'd you pay for that? Where'd I get it? Yeah, what'd you pay for it? Oh, what I paid for it. This one's seventy-eight shit. Manuel, feet a field is three hundred feet with a forty-five foot net. And we're hitting about eight feet back. I'll say this. Easton's come a long way. Because I got to compare that other one to a B1. Like not... All the rapper? Yeah. They, they would... We would go to tournaments and see guys taking them original Eastons and fucking beating them against poles and yeah. all kind of shit trying to get them broken in. But once they were in, I mean, durability, you could just hit them for days. I say that to say this, though. Softball ain't always just sweet, though. Just because it's a fat boy sport overall doesn't mean that you still don't have to play defense <laughs> facts that's true it's really a strip club called blue flame oh i don't know why that's busting him up so much i don't know has he ever have you ever been yeah yeah i've been shit we need to go now uh we're right now at this field we are um we're in a like bucket area Oh, oh yeah, were you? You weren't there with us. Yeah, I was. I took Potter. Yeah, I was there. I was like, I was freaking dying, dude, because he didn't know what to do. He was just sitting there. <laughs> Potter, Potter got an overdraft that night. Oh, you did? Yes. Oh, he, he got he went to the ATM. He could He fell in love with that little stripper girl in there. Are you serious, dude? Hundred percent. No, man, quit playing around, dude. I swear. Stay on live if we go. No shit. I got on sweatpants too. <laughs> they go, hey, you go to a strip club with sweatpants on, you know you mean business. <laughs> Don't break the cycle. Don't break the cycle, man. Hey, what's up with this? Can't swing Y'all sprayed them down? I, I sprayed my glove, yeah. Pew. Yeah, you really don't feel it. I'm trying to tell you, you don't feel the ball coming off that barrel. Yeah, you really don't feel it. Like, you, you can tell you hit the ball, but you can't tell if it's like... That's what I'm saying. You can't yeah. tell how good you hit it. Yeah. It, every swing feels the same to me on that bat. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. 
that's not a bad thing, but it's, you don't know, like you can't tell if you need to run to first base or turn around and it run doubles. Yeah. yeah. Well, only doubles we getting is from Wendy's. I'm jealous here in Quebec, Canada. We have, oh man, I was just doing a, for y'all who don't know, I run a softball page called Softball Uncensored. It's pretty active. Like, man, I was on uh, that Bring It podcast, and they were talking about they're all from up north, like the Boston area, and they only get softball like six months out of the year. That's not pop up. Let me see that. You done with that one? Yeah. Let me see that. See if there's any marks or anything. One second. Literally none. No marks. No no tings, no scratches. Definitely not a Louisville. Boy, Louisville would have busted already. No, the new one, the new tech actually has been holding up. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Not being serious, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I saw I, I saw Rhino's so, live like everybody else did. Wait, it busted on his live? Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. he swings. 40, 50 maybe. Was he swinging? What, balls? Yeah, yeah. What oh, ball? I don't know. You okay. have to go look at it. Can we know. use ASA balls? So probably it's not his ball. fault. I mean, Louisville takes care of him, but yeah. that bat definitely definitely busted on him. I got you. There you go. Pew. Ooh, wow. It's a little bit higher than It's that. crazy. No one can get their ball stuck up there like Big Daddy back here did. <laughs> this bat kind of feels the same like that one, though. You can feel the ball off of that, though. Yeah, you can feel a little bit better, but it feels like the stiffness This wise. barrel is... Definitely soft. That's a great bat, though, for, yeah. for the value. Yeah, 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 for sure. For those who know the swing, the 240 bats, when they first drop their first Eastons, Garbo. Which one? It's coming deeper. The first fire flexes were garbage. Yeah, I don't know why people liked it. This thing. They were trash. If I see you swinging one of them, as opposed to what's out now, I'm just going to assume you shaved it. I mean, obviously, you can use a promo code and get, it, get that 320 knocked down. But now that these bats, these 240 bats are coming out a lot cheaper and better durability. I mean, it's, it's also towards the end of the year, so they try to get rid of stuff. Sure, but, um, well, yeah, but Louisville, Louisville's still 320. Brand new in a wrapper on the site. Oh, that screen. It's because the screen is falling off right now. I was about to say, hold on. Hold on now. There's no screen on that side. I still cleared it. <laughs> I can smell them paper tags printing already. Hey, I got one up there it's stuck. How many more you got with that bat? That's the last Yeah. It's good? It's good. No, it's good. Uh, I'll probably put this second. He's a hater, man. So, do you swing the boom? You ain't swung the boom yet. No, that's the boom. So, I know I'm going to like the boom already. So, I got this one prepared for second place. Uh. <laughs> I mean, it's not a bad bat. It's not. You can definitely tell when you miss it, though. You feel the vibration in your hand. So far, it feels good. I haven't got any feedback yet. Well, I've been hitting on the sweet spot, so. Oh, he just he just automatic. You hear him over here talking shit? I'll give Pete credit. Since Pete's been doing these lives, he done got a little bit better at old hitting home runs. He wants to, <laughs> cha he wants to challenge me in a home run derby tonight. Uh, he's swinging the Easton Boom. And it's uh we're hitting classic hymns for the most part. I guess one just feel I, I can feel the ball. You can feel on. the ball yeah. hundred percent better on that bat. We're not working on cutting, man. We're hitting these bats right now, breaking them in. Brand new bats. Pete swing the stick, That's man. Yeah, he's touching a little right. bit right now. He's probably gonna pop this one up because I said that though. Nope. Same so, Pete's been doing these lives. He's He's going to turn into a little home run, man. All right. So as far as feel, the Eastern Boom reigns supreme on that one. It's got a little bit of flex to it. I, I felt what you were talking I about. I felt the flex in it. Yeah, it's a little bit of flex to it, but feel-wise, this is the best one. Consistency, I felt like this was the best one, too. Wait, wait how much is that bat? Uh, uh, price, 140 Okay. $150. Brand new in the wrapper. $27.5. So, I didn't buy it. It was a replacement. Yeah, it was but a it's warranty. selling right now for one forty one fifty. Uh, second place for me. I don't know. It was kind of toss up, man. I think both of these to me felt the same. So this one felt a little bit more dull, though. So I had to get the edge to this one, but it felt about the same. 
That's crazy because he hates that bat. Yeah, I do. I, I don't like. He's a bat. hater. I don't, he can't explain why. But I, I would <laughs> say this for Easton. Like Easton has done a much better job with that 240 line than when they first started. So 100. percent Yeah, the, the the bats are way better. Uh, which one would I make my gamer? I'll probably go with the boom. I'll probably go to boom. Wow. Yeah, if I had to do a gamer, it'd be the boom. Wow. All right. I have this I'll in third. Uh, okay. I, I agree with you. It's got a little too much whip. It's a little uh, flat. Yeah. It's two piece. Kind of, to me, it's kind of the stuck in the middle between these two as far as feel. And I don't like that's that's me like why you would think that maybe this is second place, but feel isn't everything. Um, but it just feels like it's a softer barrel than the than the Fireflex, but not as soft as the Tantrum. But I, I, I guess I just prefer the one piece, like the, the stiffness and feedback of the one piece. So, I mean, you know, not to say anything wrong with this bat. I, I do really like it. For the for the money, yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. you for can't really beat that. Yeah, you can't beat I mean, if you're, if you're trying to ball on a budget. <laughs> for the money. Yeah, that's it. I'll go. I'll for go. the 100%. money, you can blow it out of the water with this. Like, yeah. With yeah. These two. So these are my one and two, and it's really close. Like, I, I just, I know how good this one is. I've heard how good this one is. This one felt great hitting it. I mean, it tanks right away. So, oh, I don't know. If dollar, taking dollars out yeah, of the get, equation. If you take money, yeah, just, if you take dollars, dollars out, out of the equation, equation. Yeah, just straight back. I'd probably go with the tantrum. Really? With the caveat of like, I don't know if it's going to hold up. Or keep Somebody compression wise? Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, like not breaking is. Right, right, right. But compression is. Right. I feel like this one will probably hold compression a little longer. But that's just my... Off, based off field, yeah, yeah, based off field. Yeah. So I'm just telling you now, like, this is not an affiliated video with anybody. Yeah. No what promo I'm codes you is, here. You can go. Well, no promo codes, but promo codes don't go to us. <laughs> so, you go on a, you go on the softball, the slow pitch subreddit, and there's a, a thread on there. Just search for Easton code or whatever, and there's these two codes that you can stack on top of each other, and they each take 25 percent off. And for some reason, they let you apply both. So it, it took it from 99 bucks for the bat down to $60 shipped with tax and everything. You can't beat it. With and you know, and you know those companies are losing money on bats and stuff when they sell I don't price. understand how, like, yeah. it's crazy. It, it's, it's wild. And it's such a good bat. Too. Like, whole, wholesale price is, like, ridiculous for bats. I mean, if you're, paying, if you're paying a premium or store price for a bat right now, you're, yeah, you're, missing, you're, you're missing, missing out. Money. First of yeah. all... You can turn the internet on and go on Facebook and find someone selling a bat with a promo code or something. Yeah, you, if you play softball, whether you're new or old, you can find somebody to get you a bat at a discounted rate. So don't pay what the damn pay price is. Yeah, yeah. sale price. So the worst you can do is 20% off. Yeah. If you're, if you're easily you know, um, focused on getting it. So for me, I'm not an Easton guy, and I actually bought the Tantrum just because I got a deal on it. Um perks of a really cool softball page but um this had way too much whip for me like it was yeah it is, like you yeah. could feel it and i don't like one pieces i actually like a stiffer barrel like i was swinging louisville for the past two years so it's a stiffer stiffer handle on the weight compounds the way. yeah so it's you're getting 139 yeah. if you got to use ebt and you got to get discounts <laughs> on shit this you know this is your ebt bat value balling on a tight budget yeah, <laughs> yeah. Back, i actually have a, this is balling on a budget hoodie. uh for the money if you wanted to get a bat and you wanted to compete and go use it on saturday now mind you what is it 60 degrees out here it's, uh, yeah maybe yeah, yeah. yeah mid 50s 60s all these bats gonna are going to be good man. so it's hard to really give a yeah, true assessment. We play yeah. softball usually in the summertime, so I don't know how good it would be in the summertime. I have my own theories on that, but if just based on these three bats, this will be number three. Okay. This and this, <laughs> um, again, if you want to take it to the science of it, because there is a science to it, for the heat, if you want to hit balls that are mushier, softer, you want a stiffer barrel. Yep. So when you come, when you start swinging a one piece, there's no flex in it. Um, this is really tough for me too because I just bought this bat, so I don't want to pick this, but I do want to pick this. But this bat, when I swung it the first time, when we swung that bat, I didn't like it. Like when we were out here a month ago and yeah. I swung that, I yeah. didn't like it. Um, I don't know if it was the balls we were hitting or what, but this is this is 
close. I really think it just comes down to how much money you're willing to spend on a bat. Yep, yep. I mean, you really can't go wrong with either one of these. So yep. I can't put really one ahead of the other. This barrel, though, you can tell when you hit it good with this. This, you can't tell. It usually is hit good, but you can't tell how good. Yeah. That's that's my feedback on this. It's hard to say. I mean, Louisville, that was the first 240 I swung, and I was hooked. So, um, But just for me, I want to be able to swing a bat and not have to worry about durability issues, paint issues, or any of that shit. So that's where I started to make the switch. So if Louisville was to fix their paint issues, I don't care what they say. I'm not affiliated with none of them. Yeah, yeah, no, no, all no. All them bitches got fucking paint issues. They all seem up. I've seen it over and over and over again. You, I said this before. They say you got to swing 52, 300 balls with Yeah, them. yeah. I'm not for playing no bat, man. Yeah. <laughs> I want to throw the kitchen sink at them. All right, I'm not out here to well, straight to the, no bat. Straight to the pounding. Yeah, I'm just, you know, get it ready. I'm already ready to go. So that's all I got on them. So it, I, they're all good at this point. 